Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Ty Gamer here, and welcome to a very, very special video on the channel where we're talking about a game called Naughty Bear today. And to help me out is my best friend in the whole wide world. I made him with my girlfriend, Roger the Bear. No harm could come to me from Roger. Not a single thing. What? You wouldn't hurt me, would you? Oh! Oh! I bet you didn't think we'd cover a game like this. I certainly didn't at least. Either way, I did play the damn thing and I honestly just want to talk about how fun and equally concerning that experience was. And believe me, it was rather concerning. And if you don't know what this game is about, you're in for a real treat today. No, okay, listen, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's a game about teddy bears. What's so concerning about that? Well, I'm not sure if you've seen Kill Bill, but yeah, the game is basically a hack and slash where you play as Naughty Bear, a lonely little fellow who basically does whatever the game's narrator says he should do. And as far as I'm concerned, it's actually the devil. If I were you, I would throw that present in the fire and go and do something about all this nonsense. Basically, the game story is relatively simple and takes a basic plot point and uses it to motivate Naughty Bear's rampage on the island. The game opens with the narrator greeting Naughty as he finds out that one of the other bears named Daddles, I know, is having a birthday party on the island. The only thing is, Naughty Bear hasn't been invited. The narrator suggests that he get Daddles a birthday present anyway, and maybe he'll get to go. But soon after arriving on the scenes, some of the other bears make fun of him for even attempting to attend the party and laugh him off until he runs away. Clearly hurt and irritated, Naughty Bear starts to plot his revenge. He's not invited to the party, so he literally kills, sorry, defluffs everyone. And that's the story in a nutshell. Obviously, there's more to it, including other bears that try to find ways to kill Naughty or straight up eject him from the island entirely. Obviously, the player will see to it that Naughty stays on the island by any means necessary and will eliminate all who stand in their way, which isn't too far out considering that this is the studio that went on to help publish Dead by Daylight, so... Hook, line, and sinker. <gasps> Too soon? Now, aside from a very, very messed up children's book that has yet to be made, the game's mechanics could be compared a bit to Hitman. You use a bit of stealth to sneak around your teddy bear counterparts while you pick them off one by one. Obviously, the goal is to wipe them all out in order to get this absolutely hysterical congratulations from the narrator. You defluffed them all! Also, the stealth isn't the craziest or most innovative thing in the gaming scene, and involves you going into the brush to hide from other bears. It's almost a mockery of traditional grass stealth mechanics from games like Assassin's Creed and pretty much any game with stealth mechanics these days, especially considering you hold a big fake leaf in front of your face and you're literally invisible. Honestly, if I could do this in real life, I would. I'd do it at work all the time. I mean, wouldn't we all? But stealth isn't really going to always work out. Once a bear sees you, pretty much every other teddy in a one mile radius is on high alert, which prevents a full stealth run, but also allows players to run around massacring the fluff out of every teddy bear inhabiting the island. And while killing is a surefire way to get through the game, you can scare your fuzzy friends into going insane and actually disposing of themselves, which is rather gruesome for a game with a T for teen rating, now that I think about it. It's not gory by any means, it's just really uncomfortable to watch a teddy bear put an actual machine gun up to its head and let it rip. I can't believe that my grandmother bought me this game when I was 10 years old. My poor grandmother. And if that wasn't enough, players can break the environments around the island, gaining them naughty points, which ramp up your score like crazy. You can also set bear traps or mines on the ground in front of doors or pathways, making for an easy elimination early on and adding some tactical depth to Naughty Bear's rather disturbing gameplay. And the game does get harder as you go along. Honestly, I was stuck on level three for a really, really long time because I didn't realize you actually had to do the challenge levels to progress through the game's actual main story. Don't do as I did. But 
please take it from me. You're going to want to save yourself the frustration of trying to figure out how to unlock other levels. So just do all the extra stuff. There's only a total of 28 levels in the game with all the challenge levels, making players into a fine-tuned teddy bear killing machine by the end. And while I couldn't actually get to the end myself before this video had to go live, I still find myself wanting to, especially since the golden edition I own comes with all the DLC levels and other extra goodies. Plus, it's honestly just fun. And I don't know what that says about me, but it's just fun. But that's the thing. No matter how messed up I think this game's premise is, I still thoroughly enjoy it. Don't know what that says about me, but I feel like anyone out there who really likes games in the Hitman series or hack and slashes in general would really enjoy this title, even if it did come out in 2010, which means it's ripe with some glitches and a few bugs here or there, including when you kill a bear in a house or a shed, the camera kind of glitches and hides most of the animation itself, which can be a bit annoying to some, but without giving too much away, let's get to the verdict. Naughty Bear is as funny as it is terrifying. 5 Games really outdid themselves and created a hack and slash murder game that rivals the likes of Hitman and Assassin's Creed by a landslide. The fun gameplay, unique mechanics, and fun characters only add to the game's charm. With 28 levels and challenges, gameplay remains interesting even towards the end and keeps players wanting more. Unlocking levels remains one of the more frustrating aspects of the game and can be irritating for players who really don't understand how to go about doing it. Not to mention the camera can get stuck in walls, trees, and sometimes other surrounding environmental objects which can be a little annoying. Which is why I'm giving Naughty Bear Gold Edition a solid 7 out of 10. It's an amazing and gruesome game, and if you love hack and slash titles, or just have a problem with teddy bears for some reason, I highly recommend this game. Plus, it's more fun to play with friends, and I hope to do a series on the Game Cave show in the future, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed it, to subscribe and ring and ding that notification bell for all things Let's Talk Gaming and Thai Gamer channel related. You'll never miss an upload, and it'll be super, super cool to have you on board as a subscriber. <laughs> I do other stuff on this channel. I have a show called Game Cave, which you can click on and go and watch a randomly selected playlist from that show over on this side, and I also have a randomly selected video that could be my other show, The Monthly Minute, uh, over on this end over here. So feel free to click whichever you'd like and somewhere on the center of the screen is a big circular logo of mine that you can click on and subscribe to the channel for free. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go and try and beat Naughty Bear right now because I want to kill the bears, okay? Okay, I want to kill the bears. So you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys in another couple of weeks for another Let's Talk Gaming video. Bye everybody.